The final episode of Friends is television history. Fans gathered all over to watch, reminisce, and say so long. Juliana DePandy has all the highlights. From coast to coast. From Tom Hanks to Leonardo DiCaprio. Some big names turned out for Earth to L.A., an annual star-studded benefit to help save our environment. Whitney Drolin has it covered. I'm going to save the environment. Uh. <laughs> Last night's event raised more than $2.6 million, a record for the annual fundraiser. New York Minute and Seeing Other People, starring Jay Moore. Well, are you having friends withdrawals already? Well, don't sweat it. The next couple of days are packed with TV excitement. Here's a look at some gangsters, pranksters, and survivors. One vote Jenna, two votes Big Tom. Pop stars come and go, but Los Lobos just keeps rolling along. From new kids to new addition, the band from East LA has outlasted them all. And Dave is here with more on the incredible Los Lobos. That is right, my friends. I, I just gotta say, after watching our coverage of the American I Collateral opens in August. The mother of all days is just around the corner. Time to celebrate the woman we all know and love as mom. Oh my goodness, you know. Oh yeah, you know. I love you, mom. Thank you. Tell your friends this is a good time to see it is Mother's Day. It's a salute to mothers all over the world. Of course, he's talking about his upcoming movie, Raising Helen, which opens Memorial Day weekend. And that's going to do it for us today. But of course, a salute to all the mothers out there. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. We'll see you next time. Deal, a music video, and now a workout video? William Hung's 15 minutes just keep going, and Jason Feinberg is riding his coattails. You know it. I keep a close watch on William. His album is 34th on the Billboard charts. Walmart can't keep his CD in stock, and he's a sexy SOB. So naturally, when I found out that he was leading a workout at Bally's, I wanted in and would stop at nothing. Jason Feinberg here, you know, from the William Hung music video. <laughs> yeah. With E! News Live, standing outside the Mayan Theater, waiting for the arrival of William Hung. They're doing a workout now, William Hung is expected, and um, there's no way I'm not going to be in it. I mean, after all, I was the star of that video. Who's in charge here? Who, and who's in charge here? Oh, hi, my name is Jason. Juanita. Juanita, great, yeah, great, nice to meet you. Uh, anyway, can I be in this workout because I'm sort of like a VIP, you know, with the whole William Hung video and everything, you probably know me. Oh, you know, yes, yeah. I know you, VIP. Cool, I got the okay from the Bally's dancers, now it's up to the big man himself. You know, William, we go way back, right? right? I was in the music video with you. You're right. Okay. Now, would it be cool if I be with the dancers and, and be a part of the song again? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, really? Go right ahead. Oh, cool, okay. <laughs> but this is no crappy American Idol audition. You can't sing, you can't dance, so what do you want me to say? This is hung at his best. I'm going to go ahead and do most, well, mostly the same. I'm more, more like the one on Jay Leno, though. Leno? Better learn the moves quickly. Am I pivoting here? Yeah, you're pivoting across, just like baseball. Is there any chance that we'll be doing the Smurf? No. When do we do this? One. <laughs> How about the Popeye? No. The beautiful hair, oh. How about the Jerry Lewis? Uh, no. This ain't the Beastie Boys. Oh. How did I do? You did wonderful. I, you're hired. She bang, she bang. Oh, baby, when she moves, she moves. I go crazy, got she loves like it blows, but she sings like it be like every girl in history. She bangs, she bangs, oh baby, when she moves, she moves. I go crazy, got she loves like it blows, but she sings like it be. You know, it just felt a lot better when I was doing it than to have to see myself you look doing thinner. that. You look thinner. Hysterical. It yeah, I, Hysterical. Huh? I dropped some pounds. Can yeah. I see the move? I, I really like the hair move. That was my favorite. Yeah. I even did it in slow motion because I, I didn't it. want the editors to have to. Oh, slow Jason motion. Fiber. That was your yes, break thank dancing. You. Was slow <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I hope you guys played, paid close attention because this could be your last chance and only chance to see William's fitness workout. Yes, no word on whether it will ever be released to the public. Mm. All right. Yeah, five minutes, it won't. When do I get to see the Jason Feinberg workout video? That will Complete come, that will come soon. I got my training, I have my training, but you know, you guys, if you can't get enough of William Hong, 
right? And who can't? No, who can't? You click on over to E! Online's review section to get the critical word on William's CD inspiration. Look at the grade right there. Up next, sizzling summer style. Tom Hanks, Jason Alexander, and Katie Seagal are using their fame for a good cause. And they weren't alone. Jason Feinberg was there for all the excitement. Yep, I always try to bug them. Tom Hanks doing magic, Brian Cranston fetching a sword from a man's throat, and Jason Alexander palling around with the tall man. It was circus meets celebrities at the We Spark Cancer Support Center fundraiser. What do you get when you mix vaudeville and Hollywood? Boys and buddies. So you do have like the nice, uh, the, the light white on a, on a, such well, a hot day. In case I'm just going to be passing out hors d'oeuvres as well. You never know what they're going to be asking you to do. See the white shirt, the black pants. Actually, Tom hosted the show with Malcolm in the Middle's Brian Cranston. I feel confident about my work. I'm a little questionable about Tom Hanks' you know, ability to keep things going. And you're going to have to take him down. <laughs> Simple as that. I'm the messenger, really. I blame you. Oh, I don't blame okay. you. I'll, okay. I'll take it out on him. Okay. I don't know who he thinks he is. Yeah. Brian Cranston, huh? It must be that that beard makes him feel like Samson. The hiatus beard. Arr. We Spark not only raises money for a cancer support center, it also gets celebs to do crazy things on stage for free. Eight Simple Rules' Amy Davidson made her singing debut, Katie Seagal also belted out a tune, and queerest folks Hal Sparks got naked. And I will do anything for charity. At the last second, you guys will actually go the full Monty. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm full Monty right now. It's just right here. <laughs> he did, he gotcha. did that with Matt, too. Made you look. Then there's the fiery Jason Alexander. Here you got flamethrowers and, and, and tall people that can, you know, are you nervous at all? No, I, uh, I, I find working with fire uh, very comforting. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm actually going to swallow some flames. Absolutely. Yeah. So what do I need to do, Ted? You need a, you need a light first. So let me give you a light. There we go. That's Whoa. with the finger. All right, here we go. Ted, so how long have you been doing this for? Well, you know, I've been doing it for about 25 years. I've got film credits from Charlie's Angels. All right, that's some trippy stuff. Of course, the celebs didn't leave empty-handed. Chocolate Child Productions sponsored gift baskets, yep, including a round-trip ticket anywhere Southwest flies. And get this, gift certificates to Pink's Hot Dogs. We're somewhere dreaming. Yeah. And the one-time disco dancing sweat hog is his first target. Jason Feinberg is here with more. Jason. Jason. Man, and you know, Welcome Back, Cotter was 1975. It's wow. hard to believe John Travolta is still doing his thing. And of course, uh, he was Vinnie Barbarino back then. But it seems like he still is getting into a lot of trouble. And this time, at the hands of the Punisher. Shouldn't play with knives. <laughs> the Punisher is the star but the bad guy has a bigger name. I've got more guns than you do. But you even see some billboards with John Travolta on it, not you. What's it like working working with him? Does it raise your game? Are you, do you care? It's a real joy when you get to work with somebody like John, who's so giving and so collaborative and so on the ball. He gives 100% every time. Are you resentful that your demise came at the hands of the Punisher as opposed to maybe someone a little more commercially known like Superman or Batman. No, I, I prefer the Punisher to be okay. punished by. It. What was the worst punishment that you've had happen to you by your parents or somebody? Uh, you know, a, a stomping on the ground and the belt almost coming out. It's like pretty scary. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I yeah. might hit you one day sometime in the seven years from now. Never got the soap in the mouth, right? You know, once I did. Oh really? For a split second, I said, "Shut up." Could that be his motivation for wanting the Punisher's head on a plate? Or could it be his wife, played by Laura Herring? His family. His whole family. We all have a dark side. Mm -hmm. And some people act upon it, some people don't. All right, I did it. I did you it. You did it. I did exactly. it. I'm sorry. All right, I didn't fault. mean to. <laughs> Keep in mind, this movie is based on a comic book, a very popular pastime. <laughs> I did know the Punisher only because my, my son's friends love it. Not the Punisher, a lot of the Marvel comics, like Spider-Man, I grew up with Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. El Hombre Araña in Mexico. What is that? El Hombre Araña Spider-Man. Oh, that's what Spanish. it means? Spanish, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's Superman called? Uh, Superman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Superman. Oh, Superman. Of course. Yes. 
My favorite comic book movie, you guys. I'm saying it right now on the record. The Punisher opens April 16th. Go see it. You All loved right. it. I loved okay. it. it and they're good. giving out free comic books, too. I think that's cool. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. with your movie ticket. <laughs> thanks, Jason. Right, thanks, Jason. Well, Uma Thurman is out for... A lot on the line at the 5th Annual Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Celebrity Golf Tournament. It's no wonder the stars got a little teed off. Apparently, uh, this Michael Chiklis guy, he says that he uh, he's going to whoop whoop you pretty hard. Miss probably Paul. will. He probably will. <laughs> but when we get on the golf course, I'm going to whoop. whoop his candy sorry. ass, is what oh. I said. That's what it is, a candy ass. That's, I'm sorry. Sorry, Michael. But still. And you know what? He's right. I do have a candy ass. <laughs> part of it is Mars, and the other part is the Snickers. The big event? The Buick $10,000 Putting Challenge. The players, the West Wing's Richard Schiff, the Shield's Michael Chiklis, 24's Dennis Haysbert, funny man Kevin Nealon, movie star Gary Sinise, and Ray Romano. I've got a one already. I've got the putting one. A bold prediction. Let's go down to Jason Feinberg, that's me, for commentary. Ray Romano on the practice putting green. And yes, I'm talking very quietly because that's what you do. Little to the left. Michael, currently you're in last place. Is there a better term for last, for last place? Two, Kevin Nealon. Ah, uh, best, worst score. Being the actual golf announcer, you have to talk with it quietly. Yeah, you have to. A lot of people quiet. working for the White House in this Very tournament. Quiet. You have to clap like this. Let me turn that. Excuse me. Okay. The winner in a sudden death playoff, Richard Schiff. And how did Ray do? I didn't come through on the putting green. You shouldn't have opened that. It seems Rebecca Romaine Stamos got very close to a certain cast member on the set of Godsend. Listen to this. They called me and goes, you want to go to a movie with me tonight? I'm like, ooh, a date. Wow. Could it be co-star Robert De Niro? I think that's complicated. Or what about Greg Kinnear? Nope. And so I ran into Greg in the lobby, and he goes, um, I said, I have a date tonight. And he goes, with who? And I said, Cameron. Cameron, the creepy clone kid from the movie. Did I die? But the plot thickens. He goes, oh. I'm going to the movies with Cameron tonight. So he that called us. Two timing little runt. I know. No, oh. anyway, so guess what we went to see? Um, hold on. Is it a movie about a freaky kid? No. Well, sorta. Finding Nemo? No! Eight Mile. I'm like, um, you're nine, Cameron. You can't see that movie. Ye right. I'm like this. Cameron's like. Funny. That's what Greg Kinnear's face looked like when I told him we were clones. Well, we have a lot in common, Lily. Same college. Yeah. Same fraternity. Right on. The whole E thing, we got that connection. Right. But you are a little more successful now, and I want to know what, what what's going wrong for me. Uh, it, it's, it's all about, um, it's all about sport coats. I noticed you're not wearing a, you chose not to wear a sport God, coat. I knew it. It ain't going to happen no, that it's... way, man. You're not just showing up in a shirt and then expecting, you know. Right. You gotta okay. work on your wardrobe. But other than that, okay. You're and set. You're set. So I'm on my way. Yeah. Plus, you have a few years on me too, so <laughs> I, I, I still have a little you bit have of time. To bring that up. The world's first weatherized billboard, and here we go. Have you, have you done this before? No, no. This is my first. You know, time introducing a billboard, weatherized or otherwise. Why not? Yeah. Dennis Quaid's new movie, The Day After Tomorrow, will make us think twice about tornadoes, hurricanes, and hail. And no one's safe. India, Tokyo, New York, and yes, even Hollywood. Hey everybody, it's snowing in Los Angeles. Here we are in LA, and it's about 80 degrees. Right. And we got this billboard going outside snowing. 20th Century Fox hauled in tons of snow for the latest Sunset Boulevard attraction, and most of it made for the perfect winter wonderland. Most of it. Oh, that's a yellow snow. Yeah. Unfortunately, I ate some of the yellow snow. Is That's not good, right? <laughs> Whose handwriting was it? Don't know that. But one snowball had Dennis's name all over it. Take this, Dennis. <laughs> Covering the 
premiere of Shrek 2 was a tall order. No, really. You're like, how, how tall are you? I'm six foot five. Ooh. Yep, it seems you make a movie about an ogre and everybody feels pretty big. No, we're bigger all over. Oh, that's, that's really funny. That's, that makes me feel even better about myself. Wait, it gets worse. People who aren't even in Shrek 2 are big. Combined, Joe and Ray. We don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't match up with Shaq. But it wouldn't be Shaq, I mean Shrek, without little people too. Eddie Murphy brought his family. I'm gonna make it work sometime. Cheryl Hines brought her nephew. Melissa Rivers brought her son. Can I kiss your ears? What? Cameron brought her kid. This Cameron, not this Cameron. The message is delivered with great humor and it, it appeals to so many audiences. You saw the first part and I am a big fan of the first part. So when they called me just to do this, only thing that I, that I need to, to hear was Shrek and there was the magic word. I say yes to anything that they offer me. Pray for mercy from Puss. Hey, bullets. Well, it wouldn't be a Shrek 2 premiere without the ogre himself. Mike Myers is right over there. And you know what? He's not even wearing green. I say we bug him a little bit about that. Uh, I'm noticing you're not wearing green. Now, do you ever, you know, get into the character so much that you wear that color? Uh, not really. I, I, only because of one reason. I'm not mentally ill. That's right, millions of idol worshippers, but only nine contestants. One will get the boot tonight. Jason Feinberg just got back from the AI set with the latest. Yeah, the Jason. AI set, that's what we call it these days. You yeah, know, AI, yeah. American Idol, it's all good. Uh, it was pretty easy, you guys, last night to weed out the bad performers. If you didn't notice, the judges certainly did. Paula used a full minute to almost say something mean. And Simon was actually speechless at one point. I'm a rocket man. Nine performers left, and that's how John Peter Lewis was dressed to the nines. I love the jacket, dude. Jacket's hot, man. It looks like something that the dog would wear, you know what I'm saying? But that's the only compliment worth mentioning. He, along with Camille Velasco and John Stevens, got schooled after singing Elton John songs. La, 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 la. That was like one of the worst high school plays I've ever seen. That was really bad. And Diana DeGarmo left Simon speechless. I have nothing to say. Okay. Once again, George, Fantasia. Fantasia. No, um, Simon, Fantasia. And LaToya scored points, also joking. scoring points, the two out. Hawaiian contestants. But those votes come really, really late due to the time difference. You just don't know until the middle of the night. It's a very isolated uh, sort of piece of telephony that comes in and you can see how they just go woof you know voting for their kids which is fabulous i mean uh, we know it's going to change the voting tonight it will be down to eight and before that first season finalist tamira gray will perform a song sans the silly socks i just hate socks and so the only socks that i'm comfortable in are the ones where my toes can wiggle around she likes to give back to the place where it all began I did the show two years ago, and the fact that I can actually come back now and, and sing a song from my album is, is so great. You wanted me to love you when you said... Okay, my cat can meow Crocodile Rock better than, <laughs> than that. <laughs> Guys, we're going to find out a lot tonight when it comes to the voting. Not only will we see the bottom three tonight, we're also going to see who the top three are and the middle three are. And we will see you back here once John Stevens or Camille Velasco are eliminated. All right. Just my opinion. Can't wait. No, I'm with you on that. Yeah. Some of them were so bad yeah, last, last night. Yeah, last night. Oh. All right, guys. Take Thanks. it easy, Jason. Thank you. And Trump. But first. It is a crazy week of fun, fashion, and fabulous parties. We're going to begin with the premiere of Kill Bill Volume 2. Jason Feinberg is going to start us off. What's up, Jason? It's be my pleasure, you guys. Uma, Vivica, Lucy, and Daryl said sayonara to the samurai swords and hello to the high heels and long dresses. Yes, the Kill Bill 2 premiere proved looks could kill. Take a look, a long line of killers, at least in the movie Kill Bill 2. But here on the red carpet, these guys will knock you out with style. Girls are here. You and Uma and Lucy, what are you doing to me? Oh my God, there goes Sharon Osbourne. And Sharon Osbourne. Jack. Hey y'all! Girlfriend! She always has on the most beautiful diamonds. Daddy takes care of a girl, right? How you doing? Jack, Jack, we don't we can't get a word in. The guys can't get a word in. No, it's a fashion thing. We have to need to get a word in. 
Vivica A. Fox got the party started by praising her Kill Bill co-stars. It graduated my career up to a whole nother level. I'm on the super A-list. You are. Give me five for that. <laughs> Daryl was one hot diva, and Lucy looked good. Hey, Quentin! Of course, Uma was dressed to kill. You look fabulous. I love the dice. Thank, Thank you. Your, your dress, please. Oh, well, this is just... I I tried this dress on and it had these lucky dice on it and I thought it was kind of cute. But that, that's called a hard eight. It's called a hard eight? Yeah, the four and the four. Uh, I never get them when I need them. Hard eight sounds right for me. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of the only like movies, you know, movie stars out here now that if she was back in like the, in the 30s, right? She could just as equally be a movie star with, with Greta Garbo and Marlene Dietrich. In fact, you could even make a case that that's the time that she should have, you know, been making movies. Who would you really want to be slain by? Lucy, Vivica, Uma, or Daryl? Maybe I could get a gang slain. Ooh, now you're talking. Yeah. And we can't forget Bill of Kill Bill, who happens to be very alive and fashionable to boot. Now, do you know that how cool you are? Yeah. <laughs> All right, now let me clarify one thing, you guys. When Uma Thurman says that a hard eight is good for her, she, of course she's talking about the game of craps. Of course she is. Because she's a craps player. Right. And a hard eight's a good thing to Thank have. Thank you for clarifying that. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Kill Bill Volume 2 opens next Friday, and this movie is a lot different than Kill Bill 1, and the ending is to die for. No pun intended. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Thanks sorry. for the laugh. <laughs> Thanks for the courtesy I try, laugh. I, love I don't know. I know it's punny and everything, but it it actually does work for this movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's very good. All right. Okay. You'll be Master saying you'll be saying that Jason. He's such a smart guy. When, yeah. Once you see it. Really? Yeah. I just got to see it. <laughs> well done. I love you, Jason. All right, guys. Thank you. That Jason's such a smart guy. <laughs> he really is. Master of puns. Oh my goodness. All right. One handsome guy to the other. Brittany in the bathroom. And OC three some plus Tom and Penelope. Yeah, the cartoon favorite is coming to the big screen. While one generation is excited, another is asking, who is Fat Albert? Mm -hmm. Jason Feinberg, what is it? That's right, guys. Fat Albert originally ran from 1972 to 1979, which puts me in the Fat Albert generation. It also puts Patrick in the you kids stop watching Fat Albert generation. But when it comes to <laughs> Mushmouth and Dumb Donald and Weird Harold, everyone is in for a treat. <laughs> Come on, dudes, we gotta get this nativity scene down cold. What are we doing this for anyway? Fat Albert is back, and this time, he's a real live That's person. Good. You fill in the blank, all right? Bum, 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 bum. Hey, hey, hey! It's been at least 25 years since the original cartoon, back when Bill Cosby was the voice. Throw that straw on this table floor, not on me. Now, he'll executive produce the movie. Fred Albert is a charming fellow that you will fall in love with, who is not Quasimodo. The new Fred Albert is Nickelodeon's Kenan Thompson, and Fox brought out the food and retro fashion to celebrate. You don't want to challenge me to a Philly cheesesteak contest? Nah, I don't, you know, I would, but I don't want to embarrass you in front of your fans. Well, now, you know you would lose. Yeah, there, you go. there you go, take a bite there, yeah, that's oh, delicious, right? Yeah. Philly cheesesteak. No, what else? Philadelphia. I was wondering if you can tell us a little bit about your outfit here. Uh, yes, well, I'm uh, wearing a uh, Fat Albert's own design sweater and uh, collar, actually. There's no shirt underneath it. And do they even make this color blue anymore? I don't think they make such a bright television cartoon blue. Of course, the politically incorrect cartoon slash motion picture wouldn't be the same without the gang of do-gooders. I always wanted to be in the Fat Albert gang. Is there, can I? Okay, they're huddling up. They're gonna see if I'm special enough to be in the Fat Albert gang. We yeah. have decided yes. that before you get into the Fat Albert gang, okay. you have to do something. Three, two, one. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Okay, now let me, let me let you guys in on a little secret. What? In the script, mm. Juliana was supposed to go, hey, 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 uh -huh. and she totally you ducked so out of it. Cold. I'm calling you out. Do it now, Juliana. I don't want it to. <laughs> I'm not great. good at it. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. 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 See, I'm not good. You got class.
Thank you. Oh, that's, a, that's a line he says. Yeah. Hey, you guys remember Dumb Donald? Yes. yes. Remember? He was like my favorite. He's like, mm. hey, ba yuba, how ba arba yuba doobing ba? <laughs> yeah, ba. Yeah, yeah, ba, yeah, ba. Something like that. Or that's uh, Flintstones, but yeah. Yeah, ba dum do. Uh, look for Fat Albert Christmas Day, y'all. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you very Maybe. much. Ma. <laughs> Do another Jason. one on your way out, Jason Feinberg. Uh, another like. Hey. <laughs> oh, well done. Not bad. It's not bad. It's not good. Well, look at me. <laughs> Back in a moment. Thanks, Jason. Coming up, she's blonde, beautiful.